Hello gang and welcome back to Alien Protocols, the Advanced Protocols Data Project. When considering what extraterrestrial intelligences are, it's important to consider how advanced they could be. Now we know over time they have chosen to appear as if they are a certain technological level. And that technological level has changed over time. It has reflected humanity's understanding in general. There used to be just airship sightings, there used to be just cigar shapes, then there used to be just pure, uh, triangles, not just triangles, but oftentimes these craft reflect a technology that's just within the understanding of humanity. Now, is that because these visitors are truly just a few hundred years more advanced than us? Or is it that they choose to present themselves this way? When trying to understand the answer to this, let's look at how more advanced civilizations might be able to operate. And this is all conjecture because different civilizations would have different advancement rates. So to even say, you know, what is a civilization that's 10 years more advanced than us? It's hard to have, you know, put that in relation. But let's just think of humanity right now. What would humanity be like 10 more years advanced than now? Well, certainly we would have much more computing power and information power and it will be on our wrists and in our phones and in our cars and everything will be super smart in 10 years from now. We're going to have a lot of medical breakthroughs. There's going to be more green technologies. We'll definitely need a lot more green technologies and more conservation and recycling. And I believe we will truly have a worldwide acceptance of extraterrestrial intelligences, not just life in the universe but the intelligent ones that have been visiting us. Within 10 years, there'll be no freakouts, no wars, no stock market crashes, none of that. It'll actually be exciting and stimulate the economy and a lot of great things for humanity. Next, I think in 100 years, it becomes a little bit more speculation. But we can certainly believe we're going to have stunning computational powers available to anyone, anytime, able to run complex simulations, um, the average person. There's going to be amazing non-gasoline vehicles. Petroleum will be definitely a thing of the past, going into the past, like eight tracks. Commercial and public space travel will be a big deal. It'll be happening a lot. And um, lifespans will certainly increase in 100 years. And humanity will be able to create basic life. Right now we're doing DNA manipulation and stuff like that, but in a hundred years we certainly will be able to create basic life forms. <clears throat> and I think uh, in a hundred years it's very reasonable to think we're going to have a basic moon colony or public ones. <laughs> um, I also think uh, we're going to continue our basic manipulation of space-time, but in a hundred years it's going to be used for power and construction in governments and in private hands only on a much larger scale. And I think uh, there's going to be invisibility. It's going to be private invisibility, you know, for governments and militaries and private corporations. But um, even though we have it now, it's going to be a much more complete metamaterial kind of way. Now, it gets really interesting when you start thinking about a thousand years from now. The computing abilities a thousand years from now, if a civilization was just a thousand years more advanced than us, their computing power would be stunning. It would be virtual precognition. I think there's going to be personal space vehicles by a thousand years from now. And remember, science grows exponentially. So a thousand years from now is super advanced technology. I think there's going to be the option for immortality in a thousand years. Um, I think we're going to dramatically be able to alter ourselves, change ourselves for different reasons, and that's going to be in the private and military hands. Uh, like if you wanted to become aquatic for 24 hours and breathe water, um, that's going to be certainly possible. Um, and uh, I think we'll be able to create complex life in a thousand years, very complex life that, you know, 
uh, could mimic humans virtually, you know, exactly. Um, in physical mechanics and in computing power. I think we're gonna have a hive collective on some way, some level. There'll be individuals, but be able to be part of the hive. And society will be a lot safer because of that. I think we're gonna have beyond the solar system travel in a thousand years. Yeah, for sure. Um, we already do it now, basically, but that's gonna be more of a public version of it. Um, we're gonna have societal invisibility. I think society will choose to be more invisible and not waste a lot more electrical waves and kind of keep a little bit more safe, just being a thousand years more advanced from other civilizations that could be a lot older. There's gonna be sp public space travel, of course, is gonna be a very big deal then um, all over the uh, solar system. And space-time manipulation is gonna be in the public hands. It's gonna be ubiquitous in everything f from travel to construction to hairsprays. And um, I think we'll still be biological if we choose to be, but we could be post-biological at this point. 2,000 years from now, it's almost hard to comprehend what 2,000 years from now really would be like because technology grows so fast. But certainly, computing power would be so fast, it would be, and so accurate, it would be virtual precognition of the future. Um, there would be, you would be your own space vehicle, essentially. There would be immortality for certain um, at this point, I think, and you could dramatically alter yourself and that would be in public hands. Previously, it would have only been in private hands, but I think you could dramatically alter yourself. You could have wings for a weekend if you wanted to. Um, I think the Hive Collective is gonna be much more certain as we get later into time. Um, they'll be beyond the solar system travel in public hands for certain, and space-time manipulation will be on a grand scale, all aspects of society then. And we could even at 2,000 years start to have diverging evolution the planetary humans versus the traveling humans, etc. 10,000 years from now, it's really difficult to imagine. But precognition would be almost statistically, you know, 99% accurate, probably. Um, you could individually engineer space time for travel and to study the universe. You would certainly have immortality if you chose. Uh, the Hive Collective would still be there. Um, at this point, what would you crave? Likely only data and self-preservation. Being 10,000 years more advanced, and being 10,000 years more advanced, you would be invisible to even the most sophisticated civilizations. And I believe you would certainly be post-biological at 10,000 years. Let's imagine what 100,000 years more advanced than us right now technologically would be. We can't. It's unimaginable. I cannot imagine what it would be like. Um, would it be just pure energy? Everyone and everything would be pure energy and could split it up like a mirror in any way it wanted to, anyhow. Would you be just creating universes and stewarding life forms? 200,000 years from now? What would that be like? And gang, this isn't just, you know, idle speculation or fanciful notions. This is the reality of our universe. There literally could be civilizations half a million years more advanced than us. It's a big, 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 big universe with billions and billions of galaxies. And each galaxy has billions and billions of stars. There must be some civilizations at all of these different levels. Very fascinating to think about. So when we see craft, what do you guys think they are? How advanced do you think they are? It's a cool question to ponder. Much love to you and yours.